My first experience with NeuroInfinity was at a, a big convention, I think the Florida Chiropractic Association, and I met Dr. Barwell. And uh, I was kind of intrigued by what he was talking about and the, the technology that he had, and he actually did an evaluation on myself. And uh, it was really an amazing experience for me because I got to see really the, the physiological response of the nervous system in regard to stress. And it just kind of opened up a, a new paradigm for me and it made a lot of sense at the time. It was a couple of years before I was actually in a position to, uh, to utilize the technology because I wasn't in practice at the time. Uh, but I bumped into him again later at another convention and uh, we got to talking and uh, I was ready at that point in time to kind of shift my focus and practice away from uh, the pain-based model to the model that I learned about when I was in chiropractic college and that I expected practice to be like. Uh, practice was different though and uh, the way the world is today, the way third-party payers are, we kind of uh, default back to that pain-based model. And for me personally, that created a ton of frustration and that it seemed like there was outside forces telling me how to take care of my patients. And I was frustrated that the results we were getting were limited based on things outside of my control. Uh, the neuroinfinity and that technology, uh, uh, it, it has totally changed the way that I communicate about chiropractic care. It has totally changed the way my patients understand chiropractic and, and really their health. And so uh, that, that, was, that was my first experience with uh, NeuroInfinity uh, uh, several years ago and it has totally changed my view of chiropractic and how I practice. The difference between practicing with the NeuroInfinity and practicing without it uh, again, without the neuroinfinity, people have this mindset in this country that health is related to how they feel. And there is a tremendous amount of frustration in chasing symptoms sometimes because based on what we were doing, I mean, don't get me wrong, chiropractic gets fantastic results with pain and, and those types of things, but I watched a lot of my patients suffer from uh, some real chronic issues, maybe not related to pain, that uh, originally I believed should respond to chiropractic care, but I think my approach was wrong at the time and their understanding of it was wrong. And uh, that led to a, a real limitation on the types of results that we could get. And uh, with the neuroinfinity, again, we're, we're very much, a, a, it's a neurologically based philosophy. And we're dealing much more with the function of the brain and how it relates to health, how it relates to our ability to respond to stress. And that ultimately uh, has a much stronger bearing on, on what true health is and our ability to adapt and, and to heal and rest and grow and repair uh, than I ever experienced uh, in practice prior to using the NeuroInfinity. So it's allowed me to assess my patients a lot more accurately for really what's going on uh, outside of the realm of pain. Pain is, uh, is a much smaller component of, of the communication now but we still get great results with, with pain and the symptoms. Uh, I, I think any time that we can serve up this information straight up and tell the patients, look, this is the way it is. This is the way your nervous system works. This is why you've got these problems. Uh, this is how disease happens. If you're interested, here it is. If you're not, that's okay too. Uh, but people deserve to hear the truth. What they do with it is up to them. And it's nice to be able to, to share the truth with people and to be able to go home at night and sleep well knowing that you have done everything you can to provide the information that these people need to make really important decisions about their health. And uh, again, the results, when we know what's going on, when we know some of the details, we know the areas to focus on, and we can make some of these big changes, uh, it's absolutely, um, it, it's one of the best feelings you can have a, as a chiropractor, I think, knowing that you're providing the absolute best information, you've got no apologies to make to anyone about the information that we're giving them.
If you're thinking about utilizing the Neuro Infinity, um, I've, I've had the, uh, the, the great uh, pleasure and opportunity to, uh, to be able to speak to chiropractors and teach seminars. And I, I always ask the question, have any of you experienced burnout in, pra in practice? And <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of funny, but it's kind of sad because I see a lot of hands go up. And uh, there's a lot of people that have experienced burnout in practice. And uh, if that's you, and if you're looking for a change in practice, if you're looking for a change in the excitement level of your practice, if you're looking for uh, an opportunity to provide more to your patients, uh, I would encourage you to really look at the Neuro Infinity. Do your homework. Don't just succumb to a, a testimonial or a sales pitch. Get involved, get experience with it, uh, learn it. Uh, get to the point where you understand it. And I think that when you do, uh, the conclusion is it, it's a given. Uh, you're going to love this technology. You're going to love what it does for your patients. It's going to totally change your practice. I can't, frankly, I can't imagine practicing without this technology right now because it's just totally changed my outlook. I'm excited about going into the office every day. I'm excited about the new patients that call me because I have answers for them uh, for situations that I really didn't have answers before. And uh, the, the traditional uh, pain model of chiropractic is really secondary now to addressing the real challenges of our patient's health.